oh man, you can't even get your, your uh, incline. I don't know if I can get it all over there, honestly. Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. More Fixology as always. Not sponsored by Coco Blocks, but huge fan of the product, so I'm gonna rep them every way I can. Big banner on the wall, love it. Thanks Jesse for sending out the banner. In fact, all of everybody runs Coco Blocks and they love it, so definitely not changing. Today's video, I just wanna do this little intro for. Uh, is going to be showing off some of the cool stuff at Garrett Hartle's place at Reach Out Reptiles and my buddy Brian who I referenced in the video last week or two weeks ago whatever it was um, we're gonna get his favorite stuff that he saw at Garrett's place because he was blown away and overwhelmed by what he saw had never seen a retic let alone a super dwarf but before we do I wanted to make this little intro and shout out Brian and his buddy Corey. Um, all of their information will be in the description down below. As you've noticed by now in the last couple videos, I've got my ears gauged, both sides, and some new ink. I'll show you that right now. So is what we did, um, I went out to, as you know, out to uh, Garrett's place, but I actually went to uh, Columbus, Ohio first and met up with Brian. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel long enough, you'll know that Brian and I are, are teaming up on a couple of breedings. He's getting his collection started and started breeding this year, and I'm doing a couple of uh, paired breedings with him. Uh, I just wanted to introduce Brian. Sailor Serpents is his uh, snake page, and Brian Redrose is his tattoo page over at uh, Redrose Tattoo in Zanesville, Ohio. Shout out to Redrose. Billy, the crew, you guys is awesome. The place is great. Uh, the tattoo work is beautiful. And shout out to Corey Gullible Goose on Instagram. He's uh, a piercer. Actually, Brian's apprentice when it comes to piercing. Brian used to be a piercer before, tattoo artist now. They did both of my ears at the same time. And I should have filmed it, but I was already nervous enough about getting them pierced. And so they did a 10 gauge taper needle, which is fairly big compared to uh, like a standard uh, ear piercing, but they did a 10 gauge taper needle and then these are 8 gauge single flare glass plugs So they went at the same time just right through put the plug in behind it Everything went great. I'm really happy with them. They look nice uh, I'm glad I did it. So super excited for that stuff. I've talked enough for this intro Let's go check out what Brian thought of Garrett's collection All right, so Brian's got to pick his five favorite snakes that he's seen here in Garrett's collection that are not not Carapas. Because obviously everybody hates Carapas. Because those <laughs> yeah. are pretty sweet. Um, Damn Carapas. And so Garrett's going to figure out where they are because Brian can't figure out what they're called. But Lay it on us. What do you like? You I got? like all of them. So the little female and the male that we held the first time when we got here. The Snow Goldens. Uh, Snow Goldens. Snow Golden Child. Yeah. Pretty cool morph. It's funny, uh, I was trying to make these, and a buddy of mine named Eric Lee beat me to it. And when he made them, I looked at them, I thought, ew, I don't like those. Those are so yellow and ugly. And then I made them, like, right after, and I was like, ooh, these are awesome. <laughs> yeah. And so what do you like? What's, what is it about these? Bro? So the, the pattern on the back, I think, is awesome. Um, and so on his sister, he's got more, more pattern kind of in the middle. And hers is hers more solid, I think. Or That's a it? female. Yeah. Okay. So, and then when you take them outside, the yellows and that like purple really like show even more. Yeah, this is a terrible lighting yeah, for snows. So it makes them look yellow. There's the and they're male. Really, almost like translucent green. Yeah, that's, and you can see that more when you go outside. But I thought that was really cool. As soon as I stepped outside, it just kind of changed. Yep, good choice. But I think the cottage Obviously, is Brian weird. has expensive taste for showing up and not knowing what he's talking about. <laughs> I, everything I like is expensive. I think these were like some of the most expensive animals I sold last year. 
handles from this clutch. This guy, I really liked him, Slayer. <laughs> the most metal of all yeah, the retakes. Slayer. 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 I really liked him. That's our thing now. If any of you guys ever say this island locality, you have to say Slayer. That's right. <laughs> it, it comes with a hand symbol. What's up, buddy? This is the largest of the dwarf localities. As far as a pure, I mean, you can get a larger dwarf animal than this, depending on, you know, bloodlines and stuff, but... These are Saputrii, so they're a different subspecies than the Jampayanus. So when you look at a lot of the super dwarfs, they're very silver and muted colors or, or high contrast. But these are just, and he's deep in blue. So you can see he's kind of brown today, but you can see that gold coming out from underneath like it's supposed to. Yeah, and that's what I really like about it. It was like that and then like kind of the blushing on the sides. Yep. So that's... It's cool in his belly. But for a size comparison, I don't think a lot of people get to see it. That's... That's the bigger dwarf locality. Everybody likes a Slayer. <laughs> it was the Annery, the, the dark one. The real silver one. Ah, yeah. yeah. She's here. Hold that for me for a second. My little hulked out girl, the green head. This is just an Annery. 50% Jampea, but Annery is probably one of my... Not probably. I think at this point I have to say it's my favorite morph. Even though I like to pretend to like other stuff better. These are cool. But she's a just a holdback annery. She was exceptionally dark. And um, her yellow, she's got a yellow head, which is pretty unique among the Jampea stuff. And because she's annery, the head is green. This was a really exceptional animal. Again, I didn't I can't take credit for this one. This one was produced by John Cashman. And I told him I have to have it. So I mean, crazy snake. Yeah. The head on it, I think, is why I was like, I liked it so much, was just because it's so different from the rest of her. Matches your shoes. Yep. <laughs> I wore these the, just for that. The green reticulated python shoes. That's right. The other one I think might have been one of these marbles. I can't remember the, which. The platy marble at the end. Platy marble. That's the clutch that uh, he pulled. And the last one. We were over here just playing with snakes and found out that there's eggs down here that we weren't quite ready for yet. So let's let's tune First in. First time, mom. Let's tune in and watch Super Dwarf Marble. All right, we got a clutch of eggs in there. Looks Dude, no, good. this egg looks good, man. I know, but I just maybe I popped it off at the end of the tail. So look at those guys. Yeah. I get right here. These are yep. just starting to color up, but they should be That's the one. very bright yellow as adults. They're kind of a, you know, yellowy brown, tan brown. The platinum's turned like jungle carpet python yellow. I like these because they have like almost a fishnet thing going on where if you really look close enough, every scale is outlined in black with a yellow center. They're almost like a diamond python. Yeah. I like that and I like kind of like the fade that you got coming just ever so slightly off the pattern on the back. I think marble is an aptly named morph. A lot of them don't really make sense. Golden child doesn't look like a child, and they're not very golden. But well, it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. Just like Slayer. What else did we get out? Jason's choosing for you. <laughs> <laughs> This is totally. Oh, scripted. yeah, this is your favorite, which is also probably, I would say, would be a good number five for me. Come this is another one everybody asks for in Superdorf. It just takes time to develop these. So there's literally three Superdorf Mochinos that exist so far. And it's her, and then her sister here is a Sun Tiger Mochino, and then there's a Sun Fire Mochino that I sold. But they were all from one clutch. I also really like that they're each one of them is so different but they all are kind of like somewhat iridescent I think that's awesome yeah I don't think I have any like nice black motley golden childs to show you I think you'd like one of those too what was the um the one I said had like the cool little pattern by like behind its head on its neck kind of came to like a point almost I don't remember which one it was was that the little Slayer Platinum Marble that you pulled out? It no. might have been. Oh no, the Annery Tiger. That's it. Yeah. The white Diamond Lines. Honorable mention. 
She's got a she's got a, a good handshake. It's nice and firm. I don't know. He talked about this one before the Mochino. I think he just skewed. <laughs> I think the Mochino might be the honorable mention here. This one? That's the one. <laughs> yeah, everybody likes this one. I don't know if you notice a theme. Brian likes anneries. <laughs> this is the annery tiger. This is my favorite. And she's the... She's from the White Diamond, but... This, you can really see how green she is. It's a pretty wild. The lighter you brighten up the anneries, the more that green you get in there. It, they're like otherworldly color. You get good iridescence on her, too. Just something about that white diamond mm -hmm. line. Makes them look extra. Like a, it's like high definition. Weird. All right, well, there you go, guys. Um, I know it's kind of an abrupt end here. We shot a bunch of different clips and parts while we were with Garrett, not in any kind of sequential order. So almost none of them have actual intros and outros. So that's why you get these random cuts in and out with us in the snake room or uh, outside or whatever the case may be. But thanks for checking out the video for sure. Thank you again to Garrett for hosting us, having me and Brian come out and visit. Thank you, Brian, for the tattoo work. Corey for the ears and uh, of course you guys for watching none of this would be possible without your support so we really do appreciate it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you have not already check us out over on Instagram at morph mixology that's where the most up-to-date and current stuff comes from and as babies start to show up that's where they'll be until then I'll see you guys in the next video see it